Hello everyone, Inventor719 here with another product review from PyroCreations.com. Um, if you guys remember before I made a video on their 22 gauge miniature cannon. Awesome little piece and they liked the review video I made so they sent me something else. Uh, and so in today's video we are going to be reviewing this door alarm. It's a 12 gauge door alarm. Has tons of uses. Um, some just novelty, but also maybe paintball or home security. Now, it is stressed that this product is to be used with 12 gauge blanks, not real rounds, as it was designed to only hold the force of the blank load, and either birdshot or a slug would probably cause damage to the shell holders as well as any bystander, as the piece and shell would obviously explode. So that is a very important thing that should be stressed. That is only to be used with blank rounds. Um, also why I'm able to make this video as it would definitely not be legal if I shot a live round out of this. Anyway, let me quickly take you over the features and then let's get to the testing. So basically it is machined out of a solid piece of aluminum. Um, mine is anodized gold, but you can get it in tons of different colors. It has, looks to be a TIG welded handle. This is the handle and plunger. As you can see when I pull it back, it moves the firing pin back. Um, very clean machining. As you can see that will hold the shotgun shell very nicely. It just slides right in there like that, but we'll show you that more in the shooting test. And then with the unit itself, which is again a very sturdy unit by the feel of it, you also get two screws to mount it to whatever you're going to be mounting the alarm on. Um, in today's video, we are just going to be using this wooden block. So I'm going to mount it to the top and then do the test firing and not have to worry about it blowing back because that block is pretty heavy. And then the last thing that's provided when you buy this item from their website is the little plate that is used as the trigger. Basically you pull it back, slide the plate in the hole, then attach a string to the hole. Then when you pull it out, the firing pin will ram forward since there's a spring inside of here. And it'll shoot off your round. So essentially there is the unit. Again, this was provided to me by the same company that offers the 22 Mini Cannon, another great product. Their, their website is Pyro, Pyro Creations. I'm going to put the link right in the first line of the description below. And please go check out their store. Because if you guys check out their store and they like my review video, maybe they'll give me more stuff to review, which means more content for you guys. So what we're going to be doing here is in Canada, it's kind of hard to find 12 gauge blanks. So I have just simply a U shell that I put in a primer. So this is literally no gunpowder. This is just a primer of a 12 gauge shotgun shell. We're gonna do the first shot empty, and then we're gonna have some fun. I might put, the, put this little Nerf bullet in there. I might do some wadding, some airsoft BBs, some flour, cornstarch maybe. Anyway, let's go ahead and load it up and then get to the shooting tests. There's the wooden block that I'm gonna be mounting it to again. Nice big sturdy wooden block. If you were to mount this to a door frame, it would probably work as well. But I wouldn't mount it to anything small or else the kick pack could probably move like a 2x4. So we're going to go ahead and mount it just anywhere, probably right in the middle of this block. Using the two screws they provide as they fit and should be plenty strong. So let's go ahead and make him square right in the center. And one more. Just like that. All right, so now that it's mounted to the piece of wood, as you can see, just like that, we're gonna go ahead and load it up. Before we do that, I wasn't able to find any string, but we found some wire instead. So I'm just gonna, since we're not actually using it as a trip wire, I'm just gonna tie up a simple knot using this wire onto the plate they provided. Let's double knot that so it doesn't come undone. Alright, so there's the little trigger piece, I guess you could call it. So let's do a quick dry fire so you guys understand what's going on. 
So first you're going to pull back your plunger until when you look inside the slot, you can see the edge of the brass piece right here. So once you see the edge of that brass piece, just go insert the plate in. And uh, let me make sure you guys can see that ni nicely. Now it's basically pulled back. As you can see, the firing pin is way deep inside that hole. And we're going to go ahead and just pull on the string like a tripwire would and see what happens. Three, two, one. Just like that. And if there was a shotgun shell in there, it would make a big kaboom, which is what we're going to go ahead and see right now. All right, so quickly before we get to the shooting test, I'm going to make sure to put on my glasses because even though we're not shooting anything out of the round yet, it could still have hot um, explosives coming out the end of the barrel. There could be shrapnel off this log here. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my glasses, as should you. And let's go ahead and load this up live on camera. So as with the dry fire, I'm going to go ahead and pull it back, insert the plate, then make sure it's nice and in there so it doesn't accidentally fire when I'm touching it. And then basically they provided a groove that you're going to go ahead and put the lip of the shotgun shell just in there like that. As you can see, I cannot pull it forward, just up and down. So with that resting in there, I'll make sure you guys can see it nicely on camera, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and stand as far away as I can holding my string, then yank out the string while plugging my ears. Here we go in three, two, one. Good thing it's turkey season because that was very loud. Let's go ahead and load some stuff up and see what we can do. So this time what I've got loaded up here is a Nerf bullet that was taped in a little bit of black duct tape. Um, so that it's sealed up a little bit better. Then of course I loaded in another primer. This is the exact same shotgun cell. I've just been emptying out the primers and popping in new ones. So let's go ahead and point the camera at this time towards where the bullet will be going. Hopefully this is a cool little shot and you can see where it goes. Oh nice, we're shooting it right at my car. Oh well. Shouldn't do any damage, just a Nerf bullet. Let's actually point her just away from my car. That's a little better. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull the string. Hopefully we don't just rip apart the Nerf bullet to shreds. Firing in three, two, one. Definitely broke the Nerf bullet. Let's go see the damage. So even with just a primer, as you can see, this is the ball of tape with the Nerf bullet inside of it. And it just popped the head right off the Nerf bullet and the head of the Nerf bullet was still able to make it all the way almost to the grass over there which is pretty darn impressive coming from just a primer and just so what, I'll, what I do is just pull this back to unload it take off the tension take out your shell as you can see there's my used primer very nice firing pin hits it right in the middle of the shell and uh, now I just use a screwdriver Push from the inside to pop out the shell and put a new uh, primer inside, I should say. Then we're going to go ahead and do one more test with maybe some flour. So here we go. This time what I've done is filled up the shell with a bunch of flour and, of course, another brand new primer. So I'm going to go ahead and load it up for the third and final time. Even though it is turkey season, I don't want to upset my neighbors too much and the dogs. So I'm just going to go ahead and compact in that flour carefully. That's not set off the primer. Load it up. And if you haven't done so already, I'd highly recommend some hearing protection as this is much louder than any cap gun you've ever heard. Even without the gunpowder of the shell. Alright. So I'm going to set up the tripod again behind it so you can see the explosion. Maybe something like that. Alright. Here we go. Flower shotgun shell firing in three, two, one. That was cool. If I was an intruder, I definitely would not keep uh, trying to break into the house if that went off. Smells like a burnt cookie to me. A lot of the flour made it onto the driveway. Some of it just went right there because I packed it so tightly probably. Let's see if there's any more inside the shell. 
Let me just set up the tripod right here so you can see. Nope, pretty much the entire shell emptied all of the powder out of it. Alright, so since that was the last shot we're going to be doing today, give my neighbors a rest. Let's give an inspection to the product. Uh, as you can see, it's quite strong. The firing pin hasn't lost any of its sharpness, probably made out of a very hardened material. So the firing pin looks very nice. As you can see, they made the shaft out of a brass bushing, which means as it slides along the tube, it'll never wear down or scratch or have uh, tolerances. As you can see, it's a very nice high tolerance as it doesn't move back and forth any more than it has to. Also, the groove where you put your shotgun shell in, you can just see it right there. After three blank shells, I don't see any deformation of the groove, meaning it's machined out of uh, high quality, probably 6061, I'm not too sure, aluminum though. So, looks like this machine will last you probably thousands of rounds without breaking. It's powered by a spring, which you can just see if you look inside that slot. Very nice, high quality feeling spring with tons of force every time. And yeah, as long as you bolt it to something strong, it's a very reliable setup. And I would highly recommend this to anyone who wants to uh, spend a couple dollars on a very cool novelty item or a gift for someone maybe. Anyway, so please go check out this product as well as the 22 caliber miniature cannon right there go check out both these products on their website pyrocreations.com i'll put a link in the top line of the description of this video of course they sponsored my video so if you can go help them out that'd be great maybe i'll check out the other products on their store they have lots of cool stuff and hopefully if you guys show them lots of support they'll keep showing us support for donating cool products for videos if you guys want to see any of these products in future videos Maybe let me know what you guys want to see shot out of this. Maybe what type of target you'd like to see. Or if you have any fun ideas for the 22 caliber cannon. Maybe we can do both in the same video together. Let me know. But as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.